after a six and seven season and a bowl loss in the Arizona Bowl versus Toledo, we are set for season two. And I think this is a team that is going to be much improved from a year ago. We're taking on UTEP here in the season opener. As we look at our depth chart this season, Bryson Barnes will be the starting quarterback. He had 90 pass attempts a year ago, two touchdowns and seven interceptions. Robert Briggs with a little over 700 total yards and five touchdowns. Both of these guys are seniors and both of these guys look to be leaders. Robert Briggs also a captain this season. The depth behind him is very small with all freshmen as well. Looking at our wideouts this season, only 18 receptions for the group a year ago. This consists of two seniors in Jack Hysteria and Otto Tia, a sophomore transfer from LSU and Shelton Sampson Jr., and then junior tight end Chase Tua Tagaloa, who I think needs to definitely make an impact. 48 total games have been played along the offensive line. This is a offensive line that is really experienced. Four of them juniors. The only senior is Alu Ali Maui, the right guard here, but this is a very solid offensive line. All these guys come in around the same rating. Looking at the defensive line, three seniors and only one junior. So this is an experienced group here, but only four and a half sacks combined between the group. Gabriel Iniguez is somebody that I look to have a really good season this year, along with transfer Dominique Ratcliffe in the middle. Marlon Dean and George Stewart are your two edge rushers. Your linebackers, they're all juniors. And last season, they combined for 17 tackles for loss. Tatum Tuioti is the transfer linebacker. Bronson Alevo is the middle linebacker. And Max Alford is a returning starter for us. I think this is a group that's going to get better as the season goes on. Bronson Alevo looking, look, looking for a good season out of him. And in our secondary, probably our strongest position group. All seniors except for J.D. Drew. And this group looks really good. It is definitely the strongest group. Ike Larson, a captain, along with Andre Seldon Jr., rest in peace. But Ike Larson looks to have a really good year as he wraps up his college career. And the special teams is kind of concerning. Liam Mooney is the starting kicker, 57 overall freshman. Yeah, that's not ideal. Ryan Marks is the returning punter for us. And Robert Freeman the fourth will be our return man. But Liam Mooney, I mean... When we need a big kick, is he somebody that's going to be able to make that happen? Probably not. I think the roster is overall solid going into season two here. An 83 overall, 82 offense, and 84 defense. Our secondary looks really good. This is a team that is full with juniors and seniors. There's a lot of upperclassmen on this roster here. Not a whole lot of freshmen and sophomores that are going to be making an impact. As we look at Skyler Locklear, the quarterback for the UTEP Miners, he had 2,400 yards last season, 22 touchdowns, and only eight interceptions. Their other impact guy is Giovanni Barnes. He is a corner that is starting for the first time in his career. I went to go look at his stats, and I realized this guy has not played a down, but somehow he is a star corner, a sophomore. And then there's Rook Brown, a transfer from Wyoming, so we have seen him before. He is a cover safety, not really somebody that's going to come up and make plays in the box or anything like that, but he's pretty good in coverage. Rook Brown is somebody to definitely watch out for on this UTEP defense. It'll be interesting to see if we're able to expose Giovanni Barnes, seeing as he is a first-time starter. One thing that is really intriguing about UTEP is the fact that they have so many running backs on their roster. The starter will be number 20, Darian Treesh, but they do have some other guys that we will probably see in this game as we are underway at home in week one of season two as UTEP will take this one out of the end zone and he will be stopped at about the 19-yard line and that's where Locklear will come out for the UTEP minors. Skyler Locklear, the junior quarterback, looking to get this UTEP football program turned around here as he play fakes to Trish on first down. And this one is nearly intercepted by Bronson Alevao. We just talked about it. He's going to be an impact player for us on defense. Probably should have made the play there. Here is Trish on second down, and he's going down. Dominique Ratcliffe got to him first, and then Devon Graham ended up finishing him off. It's going to be third down and long early here for UTEP. Here it is. Locklear in the pocket. He's got time to throw. This one will be tipped off of Selden and intercepted by Simeon Harris. Simeon Harris has got space to the left. Nobody's going to catch him in UTEP with a pick six and an early lead here in week one. Simeon Harris. And the play was all started by 
the corner, Andre Selden Jr., who is going to be starting for us this season. I already mentioned it in the, you know, part before the game kicked off. Rest in peace to Andre Selden Jr. I'm excited about him getting an opportunity to be on the field and make an impact for us here in Season 2 as he is in his senior year. Simeon Harris takes it all the way back. Here is Treshawn, second down and nine, and he's going to pick up good yardage to give UTEP their first first down of the game. Here's a backup running back into the game, second down and six, and he's going nowhere, and he's actually going to be taken down. Actually, there will be a flag on the play as he was taken down for no gain. It'll be a third down and nine upcoming. Here's Locklear. It's going to be a draw to the running back, and he's taken down for a loss. That was Stewart on the play for Utah State as we are going to look to get the football back yet again. Here's Robert Freeman, the fourth. First look at him as our return man. He's going to take this one right, trying to outrun the coverage, and he will be taken down at the 24-yard line. Not a very good return for Robert Freeman. As you see our impact players in today's game, Ike Larson on defense and Robert Briggs on offense as we get our first look at the Aggies offense. Here is a give to Robert Briggs, and you see that quick jump cut that he has. He is extremely quick. He's shifty. He's got great change of direction and acceleration. Robert Briggs should have a really good season as he takes this one for a pickup of seven. That will bring up third down and two. As Barnes is in the pocket, Barnes will step up, and Barnes will pick up the first down with his legs. You know, I wasn't sure if Bryson Barnes was going to be our starter coming into this season with his throw power being at 86. He really didn't develop in the offseason. But, you know, we're going to give him a shot here. As he swings this one out to Hestera, who will pick up the first down. Jack Hestera looks to easily be wide receiver number one. You're going to see him play in the slot majority of the time as here is Barnes and he's going to fire the out route to Otto Tia an excellent timing route for the Utah State Aggies offense as Bryson Barnes on second and three will play fake to Robert Briggs he will fire this one to chase Tua Tagaloa who will pick up the first down inside the 20 yard line as Bryson Barnes has a good start to this game here's a quick out to Jack Hestera and he'll pick up the first down it'll be first down and goal as Hestera has his second reception here on the drive and he will pick up his third reception. He's going down for a loss. And there is a penalty flag thrown. This one will be coming back. It's Otto Tia on the holding call. You know, we saw it a lot as the season ended last year. We held a lot, hoping to avoid the mistakes this year. As Liam Mooney's first kick is up and it is good. He looked solid there, you know, trying to get his confidence going. The young freshman kicker, 57 overall. Could be a long season if we have to rely on him as Darian Treach will pick up good yardage as that will close out the first quarter. No, it won't. Three seconds to go here in the first quarter, and here is Locklear in the pocket. He's got all day to throw. Skyler Locklear, and where's the pressure at? And he finds his target, and they're across midfield all the way to the 30-yard line. Where was the pressure at? The Utah State defense just could not get off of their blocks, and that's a little bit concerning here early. Here comes Aniguez, but the pass will be completed. It's first and goal upcoming. Skyler Locklear completing some big passes. That one takes to the senior Cam Thomas. First down and goal. Here's the fake to Trish. Here's Locklear. Touchdown, UTEP. They're on the board. Our defense had looked good on the first possession that they were out there. This time, they did not look good. Skyler Locklear picked them apart through the air and then made, play with his, made a play with his legs. As here is Thomas Yates for the first time this season. The freshman running back fumbles, and it will be picked up by Otto Tia. Well, Thomas Yates, that's not, you know, that's not a great way to make a first impression as we're going to swing this one out to Robert Briggs, and he'll pick up nearly a first down. It will be third down and inches upcoming here. We would convert. Here is Bryson Barnes in the pocket this time. Fires this one to Shelton Sampson Jr., the sophomore transfer from LSU. He's somebody that I think is going to be a huge impact player here in a couple of seasons. Here is Barnes on second down and four. He's getting out of the pocket. Barnes trying to throw it away, and he goes down. It's a sack for the UTEP defense, and that will bring up third down and 13. Here is Barnes in the pocket. He's scanning, trying to find somebody, and this one's intercepted. Bryson Barnes throws the pick, and UTEP takes over at the 21-yard line. You know, interceptions were a huge problem. A year ago, we saw Spencer Petras throw a lot of interceptions. We saw Bryson Barnes throw seven a year ago, and he has interception number one this year. Here is Darian Treesh on first down, and he picks up six yards, and that will set them up at the 15, later the 13th. 13 on a third and two, and that's a huge tackle by Devon Graham. 
Darian Treese with 43 rushing yards early, and UTEP's going to go for it on fourth down and one. Here is the gift to Treese, and he is going down short of the marker. That was Marlon Dean making the play, the senior defensive end, as you watch him come off the edge, and then he just went on a beeline to Treese, and he made the play. UTEP is turned away on downs. Third and seven here for Bryson Barnes, and this one's broken up. Fourth down upcoming for Utah State. UTEP will take over just under two minutes to go here in the first half. Here is Locklear. He finds his man, and that will be a pickup of eight yards as that will bring up a third down at midfield for Locklear in the offense. Here comes the throw, and he gets this one out to Darian Treesh, and it's an excellent first down pickup for UTEP. And it's really been all UTEP here in the second quarter. Here is Locklear. He finds his man open again, and that's Treesh again, and he's going to pick up yet again another first down to the 26-yard line. Here is Skyler Locklear in the pocket. Once again, no pressure. And this one's caught. And it is a first and goal down to the one-yard line. I thought it was going to be a touchdown. The defense just made a play. Here's Locklear on first and goal. Pitches the one out. And it's a touchdown to Darian Tree. Shutep has the lead. Probably should be 21 to 10 right now. Our defense made a play on the last series. It's 14 to 10. Utep with the lead here with 25 seconds to go in the first half. And that will do it. For the first half I gotta say we looked good to start this game our defense looked good they've had some moments that they've struggled but the story is the interception that we've thrown that set UTEP up in good field position didn't lead to a score but it really hurts the confidence of your quarterback as we will return the kick here and that is Antoine Hausler the freshman return man and he's gonna take this one to the left Hausler to the 46 yard line that's a freshman running back that you're definitely going to see this season. He's the same overall as Thomas Yates. And he's going to get the football here on first and 10. As Hausler will pick up four yards. Trying to reward him for the good return that he had. And that would later bring up a third down and six. Here is Barnes. It's the whip route to Shelton Sampson. And we'll pick up the first down to the 42 yard line. It's important that we come away with a good drive here to kick off this second half. Here's a give to Robert Briggs on first down. And he's going to pick up 12 yards. And it's an easy run for Robert Briggs, only 36 yards rushing for him, surprisingly. Here's the fake to Hysteria, fake to Briggs. This one's thrown across the middle and it's caught by Otto Tia. What a reception for the senior receiver. Second down and three here for Utah State. Here's the give to Hysteria, he cuts up field and he's gonna pick up the first down. It'll set up first down and goal. We have not really ran the ball the way that I would have liked in this game so far. Here is a fake to Briggs. This one's thrown out to the freshman Pierre Lambeau. Touchdown Pierre Lambeau. Utah State reclaims the lead. That is freshman tight end Pierre Lambeau. He's the fastest tight end that we have on the roster. He's more of a receiving threat guy. 81 speed. I'd like for him to be a little bit faster but I think that he could definitely make an impact here early in his career. A normal development tight end so not really sure how much better he will get. Here is Darian Treesh on first down. He's breaking tackles, and he's got a first down pickup. 55 yards on the ground for Darian Treesh. Second down and four now. Here's the fake to the receiver, and this one is overthrown intended for Darian Treesh again. He has definitely been the impact guy on offense for UTEP. Here's Locklear in the pocket, finds his man, and it's going to be well short of the first down marker. I'll tell you what, Devon Graham is playing lights out here in week one. Here's Bryson Barnes to Hysteria. And that will be a fourth and one upcoming. What will Utah State decide to do? They are going to go for it here. Look to get the defense and jump off sides. No penalty flag on the field. But Robert Briggs will pick up the first down anyway. I only snapped that ball because I thought we had the defensive end off sides. He got back just in time. Luckily, Robert Briggs was able to pick up the first down anyways. As we move the chains, first and 10 from the 44-yard line. Here is Bryson Barnes. He's on fire at the moment. And there's a good catch by Chase Tua Tagaloa, breaking tackles. And he's taken down at the 45-yard line. First down and 10 for the Aggies. Here's Hausler in the game again. What is this? A flea flicker. Bryson Barnes to the end zone. And it's Tua Tagaloa for the touchdown. Utah State, what a play call by Jalen Clark. It was given to Antoine Hausler. He gave it to Hysteria. And then Hestera flipped it back to Bryson Barnes. And you can't miss the wide open chase to a Tagaloa. Utah State extends their lead 24 to 14. As it is Locklear on the read option. He's taken down for a loss. That's Omari Okik. He is your sub linebacker. A former strong safety move to middle linebacker in the offseason. 
looking to have a good season for himself. He's a speedy guy looking to make plays as we're able to force a three and out. Here's Thomas Yates back in the game, and he's going to get the give here on first down and 10, and he's going to pick up eight yards, trying to get his confidence back here after his fumble on his first career carry. As we start the fourth quarter here, here is Bryson Barnes, third down and five, as he's going to get out of the pocket, and Bryson Barnes will use his legs and pick up a first down to the 36-yard line. As here is Barnes with the quick bubble screen to Jack Castera. He picks up four yards. That's his seventh catch for 51 yards. Robert Briggs in the backfield here on third down and six. Barnes drops back. He's floating this one for Pierre Lambeau. And this one is intercepted UTEP with an excellent, excellent play defensively. And I got to admit, I thought that Pierre Lambeau was going to be able to come down with that. That's not Bryson Barnes' fault, in my opinion. He threw it up, and it was just an excellent play made by the defensive back. Fortunately for him, he was able to drag that right toe apparently before his left foot went down as UTEP will take over at their own eight-yard line. And here comes Dominique Ratcliffe. It's a safety for the Utah State defense. The transfer, Dominique Ratcliffe, gets to Skylar Locklear and makes the play. I think that he is going to be somebody to definitely watch out for on that defensive line. He's a dangerous player. Here is Thomas Yates in the game now, first down and 10, and he'll take this one to the right, and he picks up eight yards. When I was in practice mode with Thomas Yates, he looked really slow to me, but... In game, he definitely looks like he's a lot faster as Robert Briggs will pick up nine yards on first down to the 49-yard line. Second down and one here. It's Otto Tia in motion. He goes back to the right as this one will be a fake to Antoine Hausler. Bryson Barnes throwing this one deep, and it's Jack Hysteria for the touchdown. Utah State is pouring it on UTEP at the moment. It's been a few mistakes that we've made on offense, but other than that, we have definitely dominated this game, and it was the Sophomore corner, Giovanni Barnes, making his first start in his career, who was burnt on the play by Jack Hestera. As we're about midway through the fourth quarter now, as UTEP would need a miracle at this point, and Marlon Dean will get his first sack of the season. He got a couple of starts a year ago when Blaine Spires was struggling. I think he's looking to have a great season as well. Fourth down and 10 for Locklear and UTEP. This one's thrown across the middle and broken up by Bronson Alevao and that will turn UTEP over on downs. Here is Joshua Wood now, the transfer from Fresno State. He was somebody that I thought probably could have beat Bryson Barnes out for the starting position. He didn't, and he's going to get some backup opportunities on the season. If Bryson Barnes struggles, then Joshua Wood will definitely get an opportunity at some point this season. As this one will be intercepted, it's Jeremiah Hughes, the transfer corner from Michigan State. Everybody that's new to this roster has made an impact. And that's something that really made me excited for this team. It was the fact that we had freshmen out there making plays. We had transfers out there making plays. And we had a new starting quarterback in Bryson Barnes, who I thought looked really good in today's game. It was a poor second quarter for us. But other than that, we dominated this entire game. I'm really happy and I'm really excited to see how this team can perform as the season goes on. Bryson Barnes, I think, will be just fine at quarterback. As long as he takes care of the football, he'll give us a chance to win games. I think that our secondary also looks really, really good. It looks lights out. As we picked up 366 yards of offense, we did turn the ball over twice, so didn't UTEP. But Bryson Barnes overall did have three touchdown passes. The trick play that we ran there in the third quarter, I do believe, is when we ran that. That was an excellent play call. Maybe I used it too soon in the season, though, because I'm not sure we'll be able to use that one again without the defense knowing what's about to happen. Hestera, eight catches, 100 yards, one touchdown, doing his best Jalen Royals impression. Chase Tuatagaloa looked really good at tight end as well. Shelton Sampson and Otto Tia each had two receptions in this game. I'll tell you what, Devon Graham looks like one of the best players on the field here. Dominique Radcliffe did as well as Simeon Harris and Jeremiah Hughes each came away with interceptions. Locklear, only 161 yards passing, no touchdowns, two interceptions. And Darian Treesh, 10 rushing attempts, 55 yards. He didn't get any attempts late in that game. They passed every down. If they would have given Treesh more opportunities, he probably could have went for over 100 yards rushing if I had to bet. As that is a victory here in Week 1, Simeon Harris is your Mountain West Conference Defensive Player of the Week with his interception for a touchdown as we get an update on recruiting here. Mike Lemonier 
is a four-star running back, 35th player in the country, elusive back. We are number one on his board, along with four-star center Alex Tuttle and four-star defensive tackle Imani Awesome. So we are making some plays here early in this recruiting season. There's some guys that I'm definitely excited about. Bernard Landers is somebody that I'm excited or intrigued with, I should say. Not really excited about. Don't know a whole lot about him yet, as we have him 100% scouted here, but he's not fast enough to be a scrambler archetype that I'm really interested in, especially when you have a guy like Jeremiah Tobias, who I really think could be a star by the time he's a junior or a senior. I don't think there's any reason to be aggressive for a quarterback here in this first recruiting cycle. One thing I will mention here about the series, I am considering changing the quarter lengths to seven minutes. In the next episode against Texas A&M, we will still stay on six minute quarter lengths, but I am heavily considering changing it to seven minute quarter lengths because the play counts for both teams is just too low at the moment. I'm looking for about 110 combined plays. There was 109 in that game, but depending on the game and the circumstances, there may be a game where we only see 90 plays. I'm looking more so for that 110 to 120 play count in a game. But that's going to do it here for week one of season two. We are 1-0, and we are taking on the number eight team in the country in the next episode. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, leave a like, comment, subscribe, and I will see you in the next one. See ya.